day of the threshing was like a circus day. Walls were knocked to allow the great machine access. Drink was got in, large quantities of drink. The neighbors were notified. Then the great machine lumbered and bumped down the narrow lane into the haggard. The bands were connected, the belts tensioned, the great wheels began to spin, and the threshing began. This is the origin of the phrase, everyone pitched in. Threshing was a great social event, so that the numbers present were often in excess of what was needed to get the work done. The threshing machines were hired out by large farmers and local merchants during the season. The machine would arrive in a locality and go from farm to farm as needed. Often the metal formed on the first farm and followed on with the machine to the next farm and the next. Money rarely changed hands for this work but each farmer was expected to show open-handed hospitality in the form of good food and drink. The women slaved all day, preparing vast quantities of food. A bucket of porter would make the rounds, and if the work was hard, it was well fueled. Some of the older people say that the threshing would never have been done if copious quantities of drink had not been available. It was thirsty work right enough, but sometimes the vast quantities of drink could lead to things getting a bit out of hand. The story has it that at one threshing in County Limerick, a team of workers making a stack became so intoxicated with all the port that they'd drunk that coming into the evening, when the drink had risen in their heads, they were fit to blind one another with their pikes. Well, that's the story. Good progress is being made at the farm of Michael Coffey in Kilgobnet, County Kerry. The grain pours endlessly out of the machine and into waiting sacks. One after another, they are brought to the granary, down to the hagger, sack after sack. The golden grain spills into the granary. Some bigger farms had stone granaries, but small farmers had other ways of storing their grain. Outdoor straw granaries are found in some areas. The granaries are a triumph of art and ingenuity, a perfect marriage of form and purpose. In some parts of Cork and Kerry, cylindrical granaries were constructed of straw on bases of firs, twigs or brambles. straw was wound into thick coils and the granary made by building up layers of these coils. added as the work progressed, reinforcing the very structure meant to hold and protect it. As the grain was needed for each successive layer of the structure, the farmers had an incentive to see the threshing progressed quickly. Straw and grain were parted in the threshing, and then the same elements were combined again so that the stalks, which once held the grain off the ground until it ripened, now served to protect it until it was needed. When full, the granary was roofed with straw and securely tied down. The comparison with haystack or hayrick is apt and irresistible. <laughs> 